Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Tina. Today I want to share with you guys this easy carrot cake recipe um, using the spice cake mix, the box cake mix. Um, this is so yummy. <laughs> Look at Simba. So yummy, it's so moist and everyone that gets this cake loves it. So if you wanna see how I make it, please keep on watching. Okay, so for the ingredients, you're gonna need a box of spice cake mix and just look at the back, um, the requirement. There is one cup of water or milk, half a cup of vegetable oil and three eggs. And I don't like using water. If you're allergic to milk, use water, but I like using milk because it gives a nice moist cake. So I have that ingredients here. I like to add a little bit of vanilla. I have two cups of shredded carrots here, and this is about two large carrots. This is optional. I like to use chopped walnuts, and I will be chopping these soon. Um, raisins will be nice, but my family, they're not crazy about raisins, so I'm gonna put uh, leave that away. But um, I'm gonna be using walnuts. I lined my two baking sheets. This is eight inch with parchment paper, and I just sprayed it and put some flour. My oven is on 375. And for the icing, you're gonna need cream cheese, butter, some powdered sugar, icing sugar, and vanilla. If you need a little bit of milk or cream to thin it out, then use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the cake first. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is beat my eggs and I know it tells you on the box to put all the ingredients together, but I find this way my cake is moist and more uh, airy. So I'm gonna beat this egg. Okay, so I'm gonna slowly incorporate um, my milk and oil while I'm beating the egg. Okay, so I'm gonna put in my vanilla now, and I just need about a teaspoon. And I love the smell of vanilla. Give that a mix again. Sorry for all that noise. And I'm gonna add my cake mix. So I like to sift my cake in. Um, I don't want lumps. So I'm gonna just empty this in here. Okay, so I sifted my cake mix. Yes, it's a messy job. So now I'm gonna beat it. Um, I'm gonna start at low and then go on high for about two minutes. Okay, so it's been two minutes. I'm gonna add my carrots. And our last step is if you're adding nuts, I'm gonna fold in my one cup of chopped nuts. Okay, so my batter is done. Put 
this aside I'm gonna bring in my two trays and if you want to be precise you can measure yours I'm just gonna eyeball it okay so this is gonna go in my preheated oven for um, about 28 to 30 minutes at the 25 point mark I'm gonna put a toothpick and test it okay I just took my cakes out of the oven and it took 27 minutes in my oven so just get to know your oven so I'm gonna let this cool for about five minutes before I transfer it to a cooling okay, so while my cake is cooling I'm gonna work on my frosting and I have one pack of um, cream cheese here it does not matter what brand of cream cheese please make sure your cream cheese and your butter is at room temperature also, I forgot your cake ingredients, such as the egg and the milk, has to be room temperature. So, I will have the exact measurements of everything down in the description box below. So, I put my cream cheese, I'm going to beat that before I add my butter. Okay, so I'm gonna add half a cup of butter for that, for the cream cheese. And again, beat this up. Okay, so I have three cups of um, icing sugar that I sifted. I'm not gonna use all three cups because we don't like things too sweet but it's totally up to you so you can use anywhere from two to three cups of icing sugar just taste it when you do the two and um, yeah see I usually end up putting two to two, two, two and a half but it's preference so I'm gonna start adding um, one cup at a time my vanilla and I'm gonna give it a taste uh, to see if I need the, the extra half a cup and about one teaspoon oops I guess I'm gonna taste that one <laughs> okay, so as you can see I'm not gonna need any milk it's pretty smooth um, I had brought my cream out just in case, but I'm not going to need it. I'm just going to taste it for sweetness and I'm just going to... This first and... So I'm just going to add half a cup more. So I have one cup here, but I'm not going to add all half, just half. Okay, so my icing is ready. Okay, so my cake has cooled down completely. Now I can put the frosting on it. Um, I'm delivering this cake to a friend of mine. I'm going over for coffee. And I'm gonna just um, do my best to, you know, decorate it. I'm not a professional baker so or decorator. So I'm gonna just frost this cake and put a couple of um, walnuts on it. Okay, so I did all the sides with crushed walnuts and the remaining of my um, icing I put in this bag with a star tip. Just gonna squeeze it first here. And I have a few uh, walnuts, so I'm gonna. 
just put in and one in the middle and just decorate I hope you guys like this video if you did please give me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe until next time have an awesome day you guys